Hello Trinidad and Tobago. I am so excited to be sharing some thoughts on LinkedIn Local with you all the way from Australia. For those that don't know me, I'm Anna McAfee uh, and I think I will be remembered as the crazy person who once put a post on LinkedIn and said, hey, I'm going to host a LinkedIn Local. Who wants to come? Two years later, I think we're 90 countries, 650 cities and around about 300,000 people have been to events in the last two years. So it's pretty incredible when you think about it as just a little hashtag, but, but that's it. So Pauline has given me three questions to answer for you guys. So I wanted to share those thoughts with you. The first one is, when did LinkedIn Local become a global movement? Uh, the answer to that question is probably about an hour after the first post went up. Uh, the story is that I put a post on LinkedIn one day, exactly as I said, going to host a LinkedIn local in a small regional city in Australia. That post was very quickly seen by Alexandra Galvez in London and Eric Eklund in Brussels. And they were the two sort of first, I guess, uh, people who loved the idea. So uh, very, very quickly, um, I hosted an event two weeks after that post. Um, they were, I think Eric was first in Brussels a couple of days later and um, Alexandra a few, few days after that. So it um, became a global movement very quickly. And if any of you have ever watched the Derek Sivers uh, TED talk on how to start a movement, it really talks about the, the, the first follower and the second follower rather than the actual leader itself as being the people that started the movement because otherwise it's just a single person. So it was very quickly uh, a movement and very quickly global. Uh, secondly, what was the idea behind LinkedIn Local? It was really primarily just to get to know the people behind the profiles and connect at a human level. It was it was not about pitching it was really just bringing people together in a very authentic way in a very realistic way and really just to get to know one another um, and to, to to meet more people at a face-to-face -face level and those are largely the values that have uh, run run through so many events and it's been really really wonderful to see people getting behind that idea it's extremely simple but very, very core, I think, to who we are as humans. The third question is, what is the best opportunity I've experienced or seen with LinkedIn Local? And I, the answer to that is quite general, but I, at least from my own personal perspective, it's been about leadership. I think LinkedIn Local has been a vehicle for not just myself, but for a lot of people to, I guess, activate an element of leadership among in ourselves and I, I've heard this time and time again from hosts that there has been it's given them an opportunity to show some skills that they haven't necessarily ever used or even knew that they had before and that those skills are primarily around leadership so they have been really core to to really what this movement has been about and it um, for me that has brought a lot of opportunities and I know for so many others using those, being able to use those leadership skills um, and, and learn and demonstrate that has really helped people so much in their personal lives um, and obviously in their careers as well. So I hope you have a really wonderful, wonderful event. Um, I'm sure it's going extremely well and I wish you all the best. Connect with me on LinkedIn. I'd love to hear the stories from the event. I'm currently writing a book about LinkedIn Local. So if you have any great stories of the people that you've met, um, the experiences that you've shared or you know a shift in mindset or something I'd love to hear about it. Thanks again, and I wish you a great great event